Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. Today we're going to have a look at the Federal Premium Law Enforcement Double Lot Buckshot. Now some law enforcement agencies such as the Highway Patrol in California here are phasing out their old Winchester ammo and going with this stuff. The most notable feature of the Federal Premium Law Enforcement Buckshot is the flight control wadding. Now a lot of folks have asked me to film the flight control wadding and the idea behind this wadding is it provides controlled release of shot for the tightest patterns and most pellets on target. So today we're going to compare this to the old Winchester Ranger buckshot and see if there really is a difference or not. Alright, so my old duty round was the Winchester Ranger. Uh, this is just standard old double lot buck, nine pellets I believe, lead. And uh, it's always worked out pretty well for us. However, recently we've taken on some federal premium with flight control. So what I'm going to do is uh, the required testing, of course, to see how the difference in uh, shot pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is fire the original. I'm going to aim for the uh, location where the vertical bar meets the top of the rectangle. The little T-intersection there, just to see what kind of pattern we get out of standard double lot buckshot. Here's your warning. You'll notice at 12 yards we have a pretty good pattern, a pretty tight pattern in center mass, and that's what you want. Hit it. That was a lot louder. Yeah, it was, and there was more recoil. Now immediately we can see a big difference between this flight control wadding and the uh, just the standard wadding. The shot definitely stays inside that shot cup much further. On my hands. Yeah. <laughs> all right, since all YouTubers come in on my hands, here's, Woo! A, here's the size of my hands. fist. This is the original buckshot. A little bit bigger than my fist there. Look at this group. Same distance, 12 gauge, probably half the size or even smaller than the first one. All nine pellets right there in the brain housing group, and the wad flew through his cheek. Now, normally 25 yards is the maximum range you'd be using buckshot before you reach for a, a rifle. With the amount of spread we've got on this shot, you can see why 25 yards is actually pushing the limits. Oh, I think that looks better. That looks better. Oh. Using the flight control wad, it definitely increases the range of a shotgun. All nine pellets were headshots. Now the spread we see with the Federal with the flight control wad is very similar at 25 yards as the spread was with the Ranger at only 12 yards. So we definitely have much tighter groups. Now the Federal shell is a little bit of a hotter load, higher velocity and you'll have a little more kick using it. But you'll also have a pretty large muzzle flash using this. Whether or not that's an issue, I don't know. With ammunition manufacturers, there's often claims and exaggerations about their product that just aren't very true. But we could clearly see there's a huge difference between a shell using a flight control wadding and one using just the old standard one. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed already, feel free to check us out and give us a test drive. 